all right so we are back for another video guys and today we're gonna check another highly requested um, IEM this is the Nyshek DB1 this is the more budget option compared to the DB3 which was one of our top ones before in the channel and of course this is the cheaper brother to that all dynamic driver configuration so this is the box that you are getting and that has some differences compared to the DB3 you're getting that portrait um, in front here um db1 high performance in your dynamic earphone and uh, actually pretty thin box as well 106 in sensitivity um 16 ohm impedance as well 20 to 20 k hertz in frequency range 10 millimeter dynamic driver and also pu fiber composite um diaphragm as well and you're getting that i'm um, kind of look for your iem actually before i did check an all ba configuration i'm um, nice check as well and i really like the overall lesson so um if you are looking for a single ba configuration under 20 dollars um that is actually the only thing that i have seen so far definitely for the db3 before it was one of the more versatile kits um this of the tuning that i have seen under 20 dollars back then opening it up and this is going to be your unboxing experience and you are getting that db1 different look here compared to the db1 but still um quite nice look here overall and looking at the cable here um this definitely maybe a notch up compared to your usual maybe you know 12 dollar IEMs, it's a bit more glossy in the design. Um, still feels good in the hand here. I would say this is a notch up compared to your maybe KZ or um, you know, TRN counterparts. And of course, you're getting that additional tips as well. And of course, no case here whatsoever. All right, so this is what the lobes look like, and you're getting that custom IEM design. But actually, you're getting some small fins here, which is nice to look at, as you guys can see. Um, these are the fins that I like personally, not super big fins. Actually, this kind of fin reminds me of maybe my you know personal custom. I am that came from Eargasm. So not super big um, type of fins here. So this might be still stable but still really comfortable to wear. And as you guys can see, you're getting that see-through design here. Nice design here overall. So the logo for me, the placement is tastefully done. It doesn't feel cheap at all. You're even getting that gold trims at the side. So definitely in the $12 price range. One of the more tastefully um, done IEMs here and you're getting that DB1 as well to the side. Insertion is not super deep here. So this might not be the most um, you know, isolating pair that you can listen to. So we now have it on our ear and this is what it's gonna look like guys so it's actually really stable for me on the ear and uh, still quite beatable for me on the ear as well so this is not your super big fin i'd say so stability really good here for me um so even if um it doesn't have you know super big fins stability is still really good for me overall um, breathability as well really nice here so this will be comfortable to wear for a long listening session isolation though it's not the best in isolation i can still hear some of my voice here so because of that maybe um you know lights or insertion to the ear so isolation not the best here but i like that it's actually quite light on the ear so definitely for a long listening session um, you won't have an issue with this so yeah fit on this um very nice fitting here overall again uh, maybe custom made for my ear that kind of feeling here on the ear all right so let's try to listen to some tunes and we're gonna use the wm1a for our listen today so we're now listening to some it's my life by bon jovi yeah from the get-go um the key thing that i noticed here is how big the bass is the vocal positioning is really nice in the mix and it has that ample extension in the treble on top so it has that shine on top here so this is more of a bright you um type of shape to the ear for me but what i like here on top is this not your overly aggressive treble this is also more of a musical um, type of listen to the ear so very lively of a listen so maybe it reminds me of the kb or ks ones maybe the ccacs ends of the world so maybe more so the ccacs ends of the world here and if you look at the tuning as well later it has some similarities with the csns but actually compared to maybe the csns or maybe your usual ccas so the recession in the mid series not that much so it's actually maybe um, fairly level in the mids region uh, but if you look at the base response here it's quite flat in the base so in this price range maybe one of the few in this price range that has maybe a flat base at the bottom here which is really quite surprising for me in the overall presentation so we're listening to some say it eight so um by toe and uh, i really like the vocal presentation here um, as well so the positioning is really nice for me in the mix yeah the base is really strong for me and uh, quite big in the mix as well for bass heads, you know, even if um, it measures like more of a bright hue type of shape to the ear, so the bass here is still quite big and prominent in the mix here. It still might be for bass heads for me because of that big bass at the bottom. Maybe much like the KS ones, the, the KS ones also measures like a more of a bright hue type of shape to the ear. So we are now listening to some Aisha the Sheriff by Eric Clapton. Uh, but uh, what I like about the bass here is even if it's big in the mix, uh, I would say it's not your overly boomy, muddy kind of bass. Still not the fastest, not the most technically capable bass that I've listened to. But uh, you know the presentation here is fast enough that it doesn't muddle the tracks at all for me. And it goes pretty deep as well in the bass response here. So 
I would say one of the more level bases that I've seen in this price range. So it's lively in the mix, but not overly done, not overly aggressive to listen to. So this is not going to be your blonde um, type of bass in the mix. This is not going to be your boomy type of bass in the mix. For bass heads, it might pass, but uh, still, um, if you are really, you know, a big bass head, you might still like your blondes over what you're getting with the DB ones. Um, this still, you know, fairly, you know, level bass for me in the mix. Maybe again, yeah, it reminds me of the DB3 in the presentation in a way, but the DB3 has more mid bass for me in the mix over what you're getting with the DB ones that this is a bit more flat in the bass for me. So let's try some This Walls by Dream Theater. So tonally is quite natural for me in the mix. Um, this is not going to be your metally, um, you know, kind of tonality in the mix. Maybe if there's one con for me in the bass is sometimes it can have a bit of mid bass bleed, maybe a touch here on some tracks, um, especially those tracks mixed to be a bit more bassy. Here in, um, you know, This Walls, um, Dream Theater. So actually the symbols on top here still really has good body for me in the mix. Nice energy as well. I would say not the, you know, fullest bodied symbols still that I have listened to. So you're still getting that double horns at the top uh, which uh, you know might make some symbols um, still has a bit of splash there but I like the energy on top here really lively to listen to um, again this is more of a monitor type of sound for me on the ear so really lively has ample bass at the bottom and uh, maybe compared to your CCAs um, the vocal positioning is gonna be a bit better because of that more elevated mids region actually this kind of tuning for me in this price range maybe the first that I've seen in that I would say um, I didn't encounter any shoutiness for me inside no sibilance inside for me as well which is really nice you're getting that um, energy but not overly done here for me which is really nice let's try some um, endless sacrifice by dream theater actually i like the smoothness the body in the vocals the guitars really nice here but maybe one downside for me here is uh, this is using your typical maybe dynamic driver so your um, micro detail won't be as good compared to maybe your BA counterparts or maybe your more advanced dynamic driver um, units here so yeah the detail retrieval like for example here in Endless Sacrifice I'm looking for a bit more maybe micro detail in the guitars and I'm not getting that with this um, IEM so that's one downside for me let's try some promises promises um, incubus yes the vocals are still you know a bit recessed in the mix here but uh Compared to maybe your other U-shape um, counterparts, um, this is one of the you know better ones that I've seen. This definitely has that maybe candidate for maybe the best um, dynamic driver that has maybe a brighter signature in the twenty dollar range. So if you're into dynamic drivers, um, this might be one of the better ones that you can get for that price range for me because of that um you know nice uh, vocal presentation. Going to sound stage, not super big. Uh, I would say medium stage for me here. Separation not so good as well because uh this does have maybe a more smooth presentation for me. So your BA counterparts will have better you know detailed retrieval compared to this one compared to your maybe edxs here this can have more body in the overall presentation maybe a bit more liveliness in the overall presentation as well yeah the vocals for me here over the edx um the original version is gonna be nicer for me overall nice of a listening overall so the tuning here is um yeah if you're into a lively kind of sound um, the tuning here is definitely something that's um you know right down your alley so the db1 versus the edx pro which i think is one of the main competitors of this um so what is the difference so the edx pro will definitely be more bassy in the mix there's more of a tfz kind of sound here with the edx pro so actually for bass heads you will love the edx pro uh, more compared to the db ones the db ones will have more flat and bass in the mix um vocal positioning is going to be better for me in the db ones here in the edx it's going to be more recessed for me in the mix the top end um, has maybe some similarities in the overall you know aggression in the sound but for me the db ones is going to be less um aggressive to listen to over what you're getting with the edx pro so definitely for me the edx pro will be more fun of a listen compared to what you're getting with the db ones the db ones may be a bit more enthusiastic you know kind of listen to the ear um, flatter bass a bit you know better vocal positioning you're still getting a lively sound in the db ones much like the edx pro x's but your db ones will be a bit more relaxed to the ear the edx pro x's will be more um lively for me in the mix so between these two um what do i like here better um, i might go with the db ones in this case so um you know much like the db3s i like that it's a bit more level in the bass region so for me the bass is more controlled in the db ones the vocal positioning as well is going to be better in the db ones um i do like my vocals um as well overall so for bass heads you might like the edx but uh, for me personally i do like the db ones here overall all right so um let's try to close this thing so for the db ones um i can see why there's a lot of requests for this um, because yeah this is uh, definitely a candidate um, in under $20 for you know one of the best dynamic drivers in that price range but of course some considerations here if you're into detailed retrieval you might like maybe BA counterparts like maybe for example the CCA CSNs it will give you a bit you know better detailed retrieval if you're gonna listen to maybe some guitar tracks actually for EDM as well you might like the EDX Pro a bit more as well if you're into bass um, the EDX Pro will give you a bit more bass response and also if you're not into treble uh, maybe the Moondrop Quarks can be another consideration under 
under $20 as well. Really nice value, um, the budget bullet for any collection for me. So those um, can be uh, some of your considerations. But still for $20, um, this is one of the better dynamic drivers that you can get for me. All right, so that's my take with the DB ones here. So I can see why there's a lot of requests for this. Definitely really cool um, of a check here from Nyshek. Actually, um, a lot of Nyshek's I do like the overall lesson, especially in the budget range. Actually, for some nice checks, uh, for the you know more expensive ones, I didn't particularly like it. But uh, for the budget range, I almost like all of their you know IEMs. Um, even the single BA presentation, I really like it. So this may be my style of quicker unboxings. So I can check you know more IEMs here in the channel. Let me know what you think of this style. And of course, let me know what you think of the DB one down in the comments below. And of course, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.